Sorry, Gucci. For what? <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I don't know. I just like put it on and then immediately pulled it off. I don't know if there was like noise for that. Oh no, I turned down the mic. We're not even streaming, but I turned well, down the mics just right. in case. So I'll see if I can find you a partner, but uh, oh gosh. All, All right, right, so we're going to get the MGF commentary. No, we're not. I just want to let everyone know. Um, if you're wondering where my free Nugs tag came from, <coughs> um, McDonald's has free six-piece nuggets until the end of the day, which isn't actually relevant because this isn't being streamed. But I got free nuggets, <laughs> so, so so like by the time this is uploaded, no one's gonna no one's gonna have free. Wow, nuggets. it's pretty much fingers. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not being streamed, so whatever. Yeah, but it's but still right. being recorded. All right, so we got Division versus Rosetta Stone Cold, uh, Bowser versus Bayonetta, both characters that can kill pretty early. Depending on the setup, Bayonetta can kind of struggle to kill if uh, they get past that percent where the ladder combos go up and Bowser, I guess. No, actually, no, Bowser's still got plenty to kill up. But anyway, going for that Nair. Actually going to get escaped uh, because of the bats within. Interesting. Oh, and he down, he's probably trying to get either on the stage or to the ledge, but he gets a little bit too far out, ends up SDing. See the disappointment on his face, but it just keeps plowing through. Just kind of pivoting. I think he's looking for that grab, but not really getting the timing that he needs. And accidentally down airing. That's just not the kind of game one that you want to see. Seems like Division's thinking pretty hard about his counter pick. Reflecting on what happened that game. Looks like he might be looking at a controller malfunction. Maybe just uh, maybe just a little bit of a fidget. It's really difficult going into these situations where like you really uh, didn't get to interact with your opponent very much, so you don't really learn a whole lot. But let's see if you can sort of adapt more on the fly in this game and uh, see where you're going. Because it was pretty even other than uh, other than that. So yeah, he's gonna get the up tilt. That was good. Now Bats within gonna escape that. That's a true combo. I believe that Nair is a true combo. Yeah, there we go. So I think he just had a little bit less damage last time. Or maybe he missed the timing. Didn't buffer it. But we're getting a uh, Fly Me to the Moon combo. Not gonna get the up B though. That's uh, kind of easy to fall out of these days, post patch, from like a year ago. Yeah, looking a lot better in this game division, although he is a little bit behind in percent. Doesn't really matter too much if uh, he can avoid the ladder combos and gimping Rosetta, actually. See, that's a, that's the interesting thing, is that you sort of always think of Bayonetta as this character that can recover from pretty much anywhere, but like if they expend their resources, and like even if they just like miss a jump, then like that, that's not only a jump, but that's also an up B that they lose. So, Division didn't seem too happy about that stock loss either, but this is kind of a jank set we've been looking at so far in the anyway. Yeah, nice little combo, just trying to break out of it out of the down air, but uh, Rosetta didn't chase him that far, so just down to the ground. No punish, though. Getting the up throw forward air, 51%. Not too far from where uh, Bayonetta was going to get up throw up air, I have to imagine. I don't know the exact percent. It's not being a Bowser main myself, but this, uh, this doesn't look too good for Rosetta. Unless this combo works out for him, which it doesn't. He falls right out of it. Not getting the forward air. Jab, jab. Could be a tough spot for Rosetta. I know that Rosetta's pretty good. All right, is the platform going to... No, the platform is not going to assist with that. It's kind of always a blessing and a curse being on the platform. Sometimes, like, if, if the move sends you more out naturally, then it helps you if you're facing in the same direction that it moves. Other times, it does the opposite. All right, up throw. Up air. Let's go. Division taking game two. Just going to show the first game, not too many interactions, not really too much to learn, but uh, it was still an even game, game one, and so division proven. Yeah, could have had that couple of really unfortunate misinputs. But let's see where game three goes. This is going to be Rosetta's counter pick, which is the cost of having that sort of game one. Like Lilat is the counter pick. Not really sure uh, what the advantages or what the disadvantages here for Bowser might be. I guess uh, I guess maybe being able to tech his up throw at the fairly low percents. Either way, it's a good stage for Bayonetta. That's kind of they agree. Alright, 
I'm not sure what that interruption was about, but we got a division with 57% on him, and Rosetta just tacking it on, getting that heel slide, which to switch twist, not getting the full combo, not taking him to the moon, but still 85%, not looking too good, especially when he's on nothing, although this is Rage Bowser. Again, this is still looking uh, pretty commanding for Rosetta, but he's got to take this stalker, it doesn't matter. All right, yeah, getting that grab. Gonna go for the down throw. Yeah, not even close to killing, but is going to lead into the up air, actually. Surprisingly killing. Not a move you see very kill very often unless it's like right up in the bubble. Doesn't have a whole lot of knockback growth, but gonna take that stock. And we still got Division having only done 26%, but he's gonna get a little bit more on the board with that man grab and just again he's been doing a pretty good job of DIing out of these uh, wish twist combos like he hasn't been carried to the moon since that first game or was it the second game yeah it was the second game but he got carried to the moon once and that, other than that he's been doing a pretty good job getting out of them going for the up throw and missing the up air but I think that Ros uh, Rosetta is probably still in percent I know that uh, it worked like well past 80 last game so he just got to get up game see 78 four percent and he just keeps getting grabbed every time he tries to approach the ledge uh, Rosetta doing a pretty good job of ledge trapping with limited tools that uh, he seems to be using here I don't want to say the limited tools that Bayonetta has because I'm not really sure what overall tools for ledge trapping would be anyway division Getting hit by that down air and the very high na base knockback. Gonna take it. Set going to division. All right, what were you trying to tell me? Uh, Ray? Ray.